الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Your Excellency, respected teachers and my beloved friend, I feel divinely blessed to be in front of you on this flamboyant venue of vigorous competition. Quran, as the character of mu'min, is in topic that could be squeezed into bulletins and instilled to you in a few minutes. Instead, it's a matter most concerned with deeper secrets and mysteries of the relation between the Almighty and His creation. Before skimming through the subject, I pay my sincere gratitude to Allah who made me eligible and able to attend his felicitous occasion. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Dears, we are passing by the trouble and turbulent time as anarchy and evils have been demonstrating its power and strength over the world, over the world as Muslims are really in a fix. Having no idea where to look and what to do for, they are being victimized and as a producer and promoter of terrorism and extremism, while they have nothing to do with it. Dear friends, the Holy Quran has envisaged all principles and ideals of movement to be followed in the real life of materialistic world. But do you know why Quran has insisted on such human values and moral ethics? Yes, it's to uplift human beings and pull them out of quagmire of anarchy and evils. Allah has set everything in his sake. So we have to follow and test Quranic teachings and doctrines for eternal happiness of human life. But it's very shameful and quite pathetic truth that we the Muslim are utterly running behind the Western ideas and norms while Quran and Islam elegantly rises moral norms and ethical values with high dignity and honor. How can we persist and why can we insist that Quranic ideas and Islamic values are dignified and honored? Simply, very simply we can say that. Please just look into the history of our Muslim forefather. How did they spend their lifetime? And what dignity, honor, honor did they get after all? That's it. It's the characteristics of Quran. Splendidly highlighted. Highlighted its part not for a true believer, but also all humankind to follow in always in their whole life. Oh, my beloved brothers. It's Quran which has vividly illustrated moral images and virtuous behavioral values that builds the personality of a mu'min. Do you, don't you remember what was the reply of Aisha radiallahu anha who spent a beautiful moment of her life as a sweet partner and companion of Prophet Muhammad When she asked about his character, yes, we all know that she replied, Kana Quran. Prophet Muhammad's character was Quran itself. So he is the real role model and we have to follow in our all stages of movement our life completely. Dears, don't you, don't you, do you know that Allah doesn't look at our outward appearance but at our hearts only? It means a person is not judged by color, race, height and wealth. Rather his character and action act as criterion. What an amazing, what a beautiful message. Quran itself spreads through its verses to humankind. May Allah grant us salvation and good fortune to be His upright servant. With this, I wind up my talk. Wa akhir dawan. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil alamin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.